With their high speeds and bright colors, you may find it hard to believe that roller coasters have been around for more than 200 years. But since their beginning, the basic science behind roller coasters has remained the same. It's the science of forces, energy, and motion, called physics. Like any other amusement park ride, roller coasters need energy to work. But it's what happens to that energy that makes roller coasters unique. First, the cars of a roller coaster are pulled to the top of a steep slope by either a chain system or another machine for pulling and lifting called a winch. These machines need energy to work, but this energy doesn't just disappear. It is changed and given to the cars of the roller coaster. What is this energy changed into and how does it go from the winch to the cars? An object sitting still at the top of a hill has stored energy due to its position. This position gives it the chance or potential to move down the hill. And so we call this stored energy potential energy. As the cars of a roller coaster are pulled up to their starting position, they are gaining potential energy. The higher the cars are pulled, the more potential energy they gain. And once there's enough potential energy, the fun begins. As the coaster cars zoom down the track, their potential energy is turned into another kind of energy. If potential energy is the energy of position, what do we call the energy of motion? Kinetic energy. Both this potential and kinetic energy rely on a fundamental force of the universe. The force of attraction between all things that we here on Earth feel most strongly as the downward pull of gravity. When roller coaster cars go over the top of the ride's first hill, the force of gravity pulls them downwards, turning their potential energy into kinetic energy. And as the cars climb the next hill, the kinetic energy is turned back into potential energy, which is then released again as kinetic energy, and so on. Alternating between these two types of energy makes for an exhilarating ride. Now the next time you ride on or see a roller coaster, whether just going up and down hills or spiraling through turns at 60 miles an hour, you'll know a little more about how physics is turned into fun.